We're live, guys. <laughs> I'm in sunny Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> I made it happen. You guys, thank you for your prayers because we saw the forecast and I was like, I'm not going with that junk. I even wore my socks. Like I brought my socks with me on purpose that had rainbows Rainbow. and clouds and it marked out the storms. They put storms with happy faces that cancel that out because I was like I'm walking in sunshine yeah. you didn't see my socks but I was like yeah so we got a little bit of rain but it wasn't anything they said because we get to change our environment yeah. we're gonna talk about that we get the script yeah, yeah I'm getting dressed in front of y'all hey guys so someone was asking about the um, the plugins these will cover up to 2,000 square feet. So that's the whole purpose of having this. Although it's good to have the thing on your phone and the thing on your iPads and all your electrical stuff. Um, throw out your microwave. No sense of even putting one on your microwave. Even if you don't use your microwave, if it's plugged in, that's the highest radiation that you can put in your house. So we haven't had one in I don't know how many years. Um, when I went to Europe, like in 2000 something, with Dana came back, I got, I drink tea. Has anyone tried the sleek tea? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yummy! Yeah. And has Okotea in it, which is the highest antifungal thing you can put in your body. I'm talking to who was the lady who was talking about mold. Sleek tea, sleek essence, super good. So, but when I went to go make my tea and I got it, we were staying at the host's house when we got up that morning, I was like looking for the microwave. We didn't want to like wake anybody up, but I wanted to make my tea. So I was like, where's the microwave? And we looked and looked and looked. And when they finally got up, we were like, oh gosh, you know, we didn't want to wake you up, but we wanted to make some tea and we cannot find a microwave. Like who doesn't have a microwave in this day and age? And they were like, microwave? Why would we have a microwave? That's against the law. Oh, wow. So. Then I did a little bit of more investigation. In most countries, it is against the law. We're one of the few countries that it's completely fine to have a microwave because they don't really care if we're nuked. So um, now, food can be nuked if it's nuked in plastic. Not a good thing either. Um, but even if you nuke your water and then you put your tea that's really good for you in the nuked water, then you've now radiated and killed all the good properties in the tea and then you drink it. Now, it's still not good. So just take it out of your house and give it, you know, I was going to say give it to Goodwill, but maybe Goodwill would just give it to somebody else who would get nuked. You know, it's like, where do you go with that? I don't know. Burn it in the backyard or something. So I had someone when I did this teaching before, who was like, well, how do you cook your food then? <laughs> what did you Back take? to the stove. Do you have a stove? Like... <laughs> Uh, I don't go to a campground and gather some wood and light a yeah. stove is pretty easy and yeah but this will too, do 2,000 square feet this is an EMF here hi people these are on my website too if you don't get them here today you can go to Swift Fire www Swift that's the name of our ministry Swift Swift as in quick fire org and so if you have two stories. You want to do one upstairs and one down, but again, the one that you wear around your ne neck would be for outside. You can put one, you know, wherever. If you're going on a plane, you want to put like an extra one in your pocket. If you don't want to wear one around your neck, then you can have like just stick one, one of those computer ones, and stick it in your pocket. There's more radiation on a plane than ever, so that's why uh, the rules and the laws are for them to have so much time not flying. It's not just for sleep for being exposed to radiation on a constant level and it just comes against your cells and, the, and cancel all that but so this is really good now we're going to talk more about consciousness and what we think about and how it affects and what oils we can use to change all that because how many in here actually think sometimes <laughs> i hope everybody how many are you aware of what you're thinking? <laughs> Maybe not all the time. Um, when I started really studying this, um, and we're going to go into, oh, oops, I'll forget this. Okay, so this is my full 
um, spirit, soul, body teaching on DVD that I did on, where was this, I think, Nashville. If you're looking for more teachings like this, this is like a three-day deal. This is a lot more. So I'm kind of trying to push t two hours into 20, into two hours here. But this is a great DVD set. Um, Kingdom Finances, how many people have the missing link? Now, if you buy this, it's 10 bucks, but you can make as many copies as you want, and you can give it out. A lot of people will give out the missing link as a introduction to central, essential oils. This is my introduction to essential oils. This is Gary actually teaching on it, and it's really good, right? Yeah. This is the best teaching yeah. ever. Yeah. I mean, he's just a great communicator. This is on the endocrine system, um, the thyroid, the, all of it. So, and this is called Stewarding God's Temple. It goes into what support we can get from different oils to help the whole full endocrine system from the adrenals to the thyroid to you know pituitary all of it so that now again i said this before if you can only get four books in your life besides the bible i'm telling you we just had this discussion in nashville last week because i have like if you've been to my house i'm wall-to-wall -wall books and i love all my books but when I narrow it down on what books actually are the only ones that I require that can actually change everything about my entire life, these are the books besides the Bible. It's the Awakened Sleeper one. Did, who's read this? Not yet. Who listened to the, the call that I just yeah. did with, doc, with the doctor? I mean, it's kind of... Matter of fact, do you have this? Okay, good. Um, do you have this? No. Okay, this is yours. I'm telling you... <laughs> Again, do you have this? Do you have this? Yep. Okay, so these are, take these. You guys have them. Which ones are those? The, life is, the game of life. Game of life. And Awaken, and Awaken Imagination. They're 10 bucks each. The best investment ever, ever. How much is that? This is 22. Robert Tennyson Stevens is the pioneer of understanding how language forms matter. And he'll go into what things that we say what can help. You know what they develop like so if you say sentences like this is hard cancel that creates tumors like there are their science is actually looking into now what we say and how what it does to our body when we say it and he goes into lots of different examples of sentences that we say on a regular basis that um, aren't so positive in the effects of our body and what and what way we can not just what's bad but what's good how do we replace it how do yes. we upgrade those things because i'm all about the upgrade right i i choose to be awake and i choose to rem remember and remind myself to be as one with him um another example is when you say i can't or i'll try so try to get out of that chair miss sherry try to get out of yes <laughs> right well that's getting out of the chair right okay. So but, try. Oh yeah, it's kind of in between. <laughs> right, it's not anything. It's not anything. So when you say "I'll try," Yoda's right. It means nothing. There is no yeah. try. <laughs> you just it's, do it. So if someone says, you know, are you how are you feeling? You getting better? Well, I'm trying. <laughs> your, I hope so. Yeah, right. your subconscious is literal. So your subconscious listens to everything that you say, and it goes okay, and it makes it happen. I went to Stevens. And he does bio-optic reading, which we've been trained in now. It's, it's similar to iridology, but it goes into the consciousness of what your beliefs are based by looking into your eye. When he looked into my eye, he found four death wishes. And at the time, they had just diagnosed me with the C word, like four months earlier. And I was like, um, okay. You know, uh, I was doing all the oils, I was doing Rife, I was doing Biomat, I was doing Raindrop three times a week, I was doing IVs, I was doing all the things to, to balance my body back into balance. And when he said to me that, I was a little bit offended because I was actually like, um, if you knew what I was doing every day to stay on the planet, then you wouldn't have said that <laughs> because I'm choosing to be here. So, you know, anyway. Um, but he was like, well, it's about even what, it's not just your, your belief up here. It's your subconscious. It's your belief system. It, it's your words. It's your body language, which there's a great book back there about 
you know, things that we do with our body and thing and dis-ease that shows up in your body and the way we do things actually tell a story too. Like I can code, I can listen to you guys for four minutes or less and watch you and I can tell you what your belief system is. And so, yeah, everyone like, <laughs> right. And so, and, and you guys can learn all this too, by the way. So if you're interested, I'll connect you with how to do that. But, um, he, when he saw that and he said that about my eye, he said, have you said the words ever? Um, I'm just done with this. I'm over it. Cancel. And I say cancel clear because there's an energy behind the words that we speak. So if you say something that isn't going to manifest anything positive, which sometimes I do by accident just mm -hmm. out of babble and culture and being programmed to say dumb things, cancel. Um, I cancel clear that energy because I choose for it not to keep going and manifest things in my life, right? Like God spoke the earth and the, and the whole universe and it's still happening. He hasn't canceled cleared anything. So everything he spoke, he was very deliberate and he gave us all the ability to co-create with him and I'm sure he wants to smack up side of the head some of us because he's like just shut up you know but um, <laughs> or wake up so what you say would actually create something awesome and I think a lot of times too we're so like when's God gonna do this da 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 you know I'm just praying and praying and he's looking at us going it's you you're the one you know change the belief system change what you speak like mm -hmm. choose positivity we say things like um, it's killing me cancel <laughs> You know, or I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm done, cancel, clear, all that. And when I hear those things, everything in me now is just, I, I'm so aware of language because I know what it creates. I've seen it in hundreds of eyes, but when I saw those four death wishes in my eyeball, he told me that the C word behind the frequency of that is, um, it's about service, and it's like, I want to serve, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Like when you're so pushed, you know, I, I want, I, I can, um, but I can't. Mm -hmm. So people who say things like, I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, a lot of times inflammation and lymphatics will occur because of that, cancel all that, because we can do everything, by the way. Yes. You know, God doesn't say, I can't. Have you ever heard of God saying, I can't? Maybe through you, which mm -hmm. he's probably like, Psh, Psh, you know, stop <laughs> saying that. But, um, so the decree opposite of that would be I am or I can, which gives permission, and I am. I can and I am. I can and I am. He asked me to repeat those things, and I did. And at first I was like, I can and I am. Like, like that's it's kind of like the oils when they first told me. I was like, really? I'm going to sniff something? But he was like, no, just repeat after me. And I was like, I can and I am. And then he was like, now say it again. And then cry again. He was like, say it again. And I said, I can and I am. And he said, I'll say it again. I said, can and I am and he said say it like you mean it put me in it because when your words have meaning when you're in it and it's authentic like the be authentic great that's living true right there when you are true all the time and you're in your truth no matter what it is whether you're speaking whether it's what you're doing in your activities what you're doing with your time who you're spending your time with all those things really matter they physically create and so I can and I am, I can and I am, I can and I am. Five, ten minutes he made me say that in front of 20 people who just saw my eye on a big screen with those things he identified. I felt movement in my body that was discomfort. I had to go excuse myself and go to the bathroom and I passed a whole thing full of tumors in the toilet. And I was like, that didn't just happen. Because when you get into that frequency of truth, Disease can't live, can't. You transmute into a higher level and anything that isn't that frequency has to go. And so I was like looking at the situation and it was, a, it was credible. I was gonna say incredible. It was credible. Oh, it was, it's amazing, it's divine, it's beautiful. And I, I had a, a mini um, magnifier in my pocket because we were being trained on this, that's why you know, I was there to get the training and Is it that guy's training? Yes. Okay. He, he teaches this. You can go to, uh, I'll give you the website okay. later, but uh, I looked in my eye and all of those little death wishes had little hooks on the end of it that kind of went like this. Uh, and they weren't there like seven minutes earlier. And I ran back to him and I said, 
look at my eyeball. It changed in seven minutes. And he was like, what? And, you know, he goes, okay. And then he put me on the screen and everyone saw. And I said, what is that? And he said, oh, those are healing hooks or shepherd's rod, they call them. He said, that means everything's reversing. You're going back into balance. And I was like, you're not going to believe. Well, you are going to believe what just came out of me. And I didn't have the documentation of doctors just to verify anything. And in my own, like, awe of miracles was still, like, mixed on the whole thing. Because I was just like, that can't be. Yeah, it can't be. No, it can't be. Yeah, it can't be. I mean, I was, like, on the fence, right? But I got home and had four doctors verify. We can only find help. What? And I was like, okay. Now, I did all the other things. I was oils, implants all day long. <laughs> I mean twice a day implants um i was doing ivs three times a week i was doing raindrops i was doing all the things in the physical to support my body but then my consciousness and my belief system had to merge with those things to be the b be the b i am you know um i had an angelic counter you can call it whatever one time and um walked in to this my living room and there were piles of books all over the place and these two ginormous like 16 foot angelic beings and one of them was named true and one was named living not young living but true and living <laughs> and this is before i was in young living and it was right before i was in it was one of the things that made choose chose me to go into young living and he told me all these different things and one of the things that one of them said was tell them they're not truly living unless they're living true and I knew, I mean, that vibrated in my body, like, still, when I think of it and say it, I feel it in me. And, and living true is about what you say, what you think, what you yeah. do, who you're with. It's not like, oh, these, does my jeans look okay with this? And they're like, does it make my butt look big? You know, they're like, oh, it's okay. You know, that's not a lie. I mean, it, you can lie by saying I'll be there at 7, and you know you're not going. And when you lie, there are 1,500 chemicals that release from your brain that saturate your cells, including cortisol, that destroy your cells, and you marinate in that, and it causes you to be sick, old, fat, like all those things, <laughs> gray. But, and when you live true, there is another chemical that's released called ANF, and that gives you super power ability. And as you stay, as you, as you remember, I am love and my love stays, that ENF keeps pumping out. And you're able to see synchronicity in your life. You're, you're, you are seeing miracles every day. Because there's alignment with what you feel and what you think and what you say. And all these things are in alignment. And i got tons of videos on this. If you guys choose to have a whole encounter with a new miracle system, go to my my. YouTubes. Has anyone ever seen any of my YouTubes? Yeah. yeah. I mean, just get some stuff. I mean, there's a whole stuff on to be or not to be. There's lots of scriptures about being in him, like remembering the kingdom of God in him and all the things that he is. And these books, these are gateways. And there's a couple other, uh, the ones that I gave these guys, the game of life and Awaken Imagination, and then the Decrees by St. Germain. I'm telling you, um, if you don't choose to get them today, this is the smallest, like, crazy amount, like, to invest, to change everything in your entire life by just, like, maybe 50 bucks for all of them. And you, you will report to me your miracles. I'm telling you, everyone who chooses to invest in this and actually apply it in their life, health, divine love, relationships rekindle with people from seven years ago who got mad about something that you did or said or whatever like families restored you know husbands and marriages restored you know I, it's literally life-changing so that's I, you know and then this is a cd set there's only like three or four back here this is part one or part 11 and 12 and 13 these two come together so don't separate them this is only 10 bucks and this goes into a lot of what i'm going to teach now but in a whole different deeper way and it's Robert teaching with Marcella Von Harding. Does anybody know Dr. Marcella? She's amazing too. But um, it will go into a lot. So um, the reason why I wear this, I am royal. And like this t-shirt right here, which I'm not wearing obviously, but um, it's not because I'm 
quote manifesting that I'm royal yet is because I, I, I am royal and I have outcome mapped royal and I see myself royal and not just because of the rank because that has nothing to do with anything but it has to do with the responsibility and the ability the vehicle to be a voice in young living and in the world as the leading thing I mean that's one thing I didn't ever know what would happen and when I went back and got my doctorate coming out of finding my own healing and my balance and then going back to school from just another encounter I kept feeling like I, you know when I got healed of all these things and I got off all these meds I would go to these churches that I've been going to for 10-15 like years like over and over and over again to teach and to train and to speak and and they saw me and they're like what happened to you because I had dropped 80 pounds I looked happy I wasn't feeling achy and you know something's really crazy when you start getting when you remember your health you can play you can go outside you can yeah. be with your kids you can walk your dog you can walk up and down the hills of Seattle for five hours <laughs> I was like okay I don't even get I don't need a gym membership living in Seattle I'm telling you but uh, yeah my my kids schooled me last night walking however many hours but um, there's just a real shift in what happens whenever you can get into that synchronicity and so these churches were like can you teach on that can you come back and teach on that and it became my new ministry yeah. it was a you know and I say ministry it's a business I get paid for it but it actually and it actually supports a lot more things than I could ever do you know, uh, I didn't do this for a business. I, I came in because I was looking for my own health. I didn't want anything to do with doing this as a business because I was in ministry. I, I had another job already. It's like, but I didn't realize that this was God opening up a doorway to say, hey, you know what? You have the church now. I'm giving you the world. Now you get to minister to everybody in the entire world, whether it's in person or on social media or whatever. And we're seeing people completely heal and get into their frequency of of what they were born to do so let's talk about um, how to do it you guys excited yeah. so we talked a little bit about the belief sense <clears throat> belief system remembering divine health we talked about the electrical field like 12 inches to 15 inches usually is the radius some people like I don't know if you've heard of Mariah Woodworth um, Carey what I mean Mariah Mariah Carey <laughs> I'm your leader. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Mariah Carey. She's got a big frequency. Yes, yeah, she does. So Mariah Woodworth Edder is a minister of back in the 30s, 40s, that she's remember. She would literally, like, drive into a place, and people would, like, pass out in, in the anointing or in the frequency of what she carried, and they would wake up 12 hours later healed. Like, she had such a shadow that, and I say shadow, but really it's light, right? But Peter talked about the shadow, so I'm just saying. Um, there are people who walk in that. Um, Derry is one of them. Dr. Stewart is another one. There are some people that are just literally love on legs, and, the, and you feel like you've been in the presence of embodied love around some people that, you know, that I've been fortunate enough to be around. Um, Billy Graham's son, Franklin. I've, I've not been close to Billy in, in proximity, but I had lunch with, with his son one time, and I, I almost could barely, I mean, I could barely stand. He's, whatever you think, I don't care. He's got it, it's something he's got. And Bob Tennyson, uh, Robert Stevens, he's, he's another one. He just embodies, like you feel like I just got ran over with love. Like it goes in you and through you, you feel it. Has anyone ever been around Gary or Dr. Stewart? Dr. Stewart. Like you said, you, you hear him speak and you're just like, you, you lose time. <laughs> you sit there and you go, just keep talking. Like I could just, <laughs> just stand by me. You know, people cry. Like I've been all over the world with him and you know, there's been li lines where people come to have book signing and they say, I got this thing going on with health, or I got this thing going on with my marriage. And he'll sit there and hold hands with people and cry with them and pray with them and just forget the meeting. Like, this is the time. The first time I was ever introduced to him, I was in 
um, Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> and I had drove to go see him, and it was my first time, and I swear, I, I thought he was super tall. <laughs> because of the pictures or you know not seeing people in real life it's he's about as tall as Ryan Seacrest he's like about this maybe this tall he's about as tall as I am just about five, 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 seven, half, I'd say he's probably five seven, he's probably five, five seven you know to, I don't know I just imagine this big presence of like I'd have to look up and when I was introduced to him he had on like a leather coat like Fonzie and like a white <laughs> t-shirt underneath and some jeans and I swear um when I walked by him the first time, I didn't know it was him. I knew he was somebody. And I was like, oh, he looks like little Elvis. And I went to the bathroom. And then Dr. Stewart had sent Joanne McFadden and some other people to go get me. They're like, oh, he has somebody, you know, that Dr. Stewart has somebody he wants to introduce you to. I didn't know it was going to be Gary. And then when it came out, they were like, this is Gary Young. And I was just like, oh, little Elvis, you know. But it was just like, but then when he started talking, it was just like, oh, like I could feel in my body, like, he, every word is love for him. Wow. It's just, anyway. So, he also sees you. What's as, that? He also sees you as your essence. He does. He does. Yeah. So, and that's something we can all do. As we remember daily and as we practice, it does take a little bit of practice. But um, we talked about what you feel, talk, see matters. So, imagine if this is, okay, Sean now. Don't laugh at my drawings. This is my my imagine. This is my artistic side. Go ahead and be excited. So my stick people, this is your heart. That's the most electric part of your whole body. Let me get you, Karen. Can you guys see that? This is your most This is your field, right? Now this is electric. This actually is electric and magnetic at the same time. So not only does it have a currency and a frequency, but it it attracts and the law of attraction is real I don't care who you are what you believe just like gravity what you think and what you feel you will attract and so if if let's say love is a positive one and joy is a positive one and provision is a positive one and peace is a positive one and truth is a positive one then all of those positives will be in your field you know and Psalms 91, I believe that this is Psalms 91. When we truly remember who we are in God, and God, is, you remember God is in you, and what, who is God? All the names of God. I mean, yeah. power, beauty, joy, um, Shama, which is power, and nurturing, and I mean, he's, he's a she, and he's a he, and you know, you may not like that, but that's the truth. And so he's all those things. He's everything, you know, and he holds everything together. And so when we remember that and we put that positivity here, we start attracting like a magnet all the positive love, all the joy, all those things. See, we think it and then we feel it. And when we speak it, there's a three witness here. Is like what you're thinking, what you're speaking, and what you're feeling. That alignment, when those things come into that alignment, then there's a more power and more mag magnet pulse to it because of that alignment it's like it's like it is the witness like it says um well, two or three more witnesses in my name you know that's where stuff happens that's where miracles happen is that's if there's wrong. alignment now it can go negative too you could hate something and you're going to get more of it you because you're the way you feel about it is going to create a negative response and a negative sound that goes into your biofield and everything you resist, you get more of. More, 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 more. So I suggest if you hate anything or anybody, that you change it up. And, and you just send light and you send love. And I'm speaking to myself too. I have some practices where I know if I gotta go speak to somebody that I'm like, you know, in my mind, I instead in my mind go, I envision me sending light from my heart to that person feeling like with his whole body or her whole body and then it going into his biofield and coming back to me and like this you know synergy of that so when I do have to be in his presence or her presence but the, that's already been done before I got there and I had different decrees I ignite love in everyone I ignite love in everyone I contact I ignite Christ love and everyone in contact, I, you know, things like that I ignite, every, I ignite love in everyone and everything before I even get there those kind of things because I'm setting up 
the before I even get there. So when there's a negative biofield, there's negative fear, negative judgment, negative lack, negative sad, negative lies, all these things, sad face, or not really sad face, more like, what kind of face is that? Meh. Like, <laughs> press lips. Frustration. Thinking it, feeling it, saying it. Um, yeah, so that stays in the biofield. It's detectable by animals, it's detectable by a lot of people. Have you ever just stood next to somebody you knew they were really freaking pissed off? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even say a cuss word or anything, but you just know. You walked into a room and felt like, I'm going back out. Bye-bye. <laughs> right? So we create that, and we can shift it up. Now, if we have some positives, you can actually have some positives and some negatives which actually is a divided dual situation. Then you are like, that's called split energy. So if you're really choosing to have some sort of outcome and you're putting love towards it and whatever, but in the back of your mind, you're also scared, then you're taking one step forward and one step back at the mm -hmm. same time. And that's the try. Yeah. And, and nothing happens because you just made it happen. So it's like, if you have a bill, I'll give you an application. You have a bill, and like you say things like, "Well, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have the money." But I really hope I have the money. Everyone, let's pray about having the money. But, but I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Energy doesn't care and doesn't know what's real or what isn't. It's very, very literal. And so anything that you focus on, if you are keep, if your mind is compulsively thinking about how you don't have the money, energy says it must be really important that she doesn't have the money. Let's make it happen for her. It must be really important that, that she stays in a disjointed relationship with this person because that's all she's thinking about. So I'm going to help her create that. Because it's only listening to your undercurrent thoughts your subconscious is literal if you are on a computer and you make the most beautiful 10 pages of glorious light and you type it all out and then you hit the delete button it, the computer doesn't say oh she didn't mean to do that that was just an accident give it back my bad no. right it is literal it goes oh delete okay delete and your stuff is gone same with your thoughts your feelings and everything if you are focusing all your intention on negative things then it goes this must be really important so I'm going to stay with that so it takes some discipline um, judgment is big scripture says judging you will be judged um, examples driving <laughs> <laughs> business relational money health Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart. Um, that word, I always look up the Greek and the Hebrew because I want to see, I choose to know the real thing, not just what somebody decided and put it out there to program you to think God's separate because most of scripture is God over there, God is behind me. If God's with me, which means he's not in you, if God is for you, who can be against you? Well, technically God because you're not saying he's in you. You know, um, God was upon him is one of them that's written. It's like, no, not on you, not with you, not around you. Amen. Although he is, but he's in you. And I don't, whatever reason they translated that way, King James was probably trying to keep the population from remembering their power to create the world. And so it's like, let's not get them too excited. <laughs> right? Let's not, them, let, let's not let them remember that they can actually script their entire universe. So we're going to keep God outside. We're going to keep him up there. We're going to keep him behind us. <laughs> Instead of, if you look at the real translation, translation, every one of those is, he's in you, 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 he's in you. Now, when God is in you and the kingdom of God is in you and Christ I am is in you, and you have all access to those things, guess what? Guess what you get to do? every single thing he ever did and greater things than these that means disease is not here anymore there is none so when, it, when scripture says 
guard your heart, Proverbs 4.23, the actual scripture means guard. I always looked at guard your heart as I got to protect myself. Right? Wouldn't you think that? If someone thinks guard, I mean, we, we pay guards. What do they do? What do, what do security guards do? Protect from something coming out towards you. Right? Guard your heart. That's not the actual words that was used. It means um, to think about and be aware what's outgoing from your heart. You know why? Because it's magnetic. He's saying, wake up, people. Be careful what you're putting out there with your heart, what you're feeling, because it's going to come back to you. And you may not like what comes back to you. You may love it, depending on his love. And if it's the royal love, you know, we got these Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, right? Great commandments. And then the New Testament talks about the, the only real law is love. That's the law. And if you have love and every intent from love is there, you're not going to do those bad things anyway, right? Because it's all going to be love. So guard your heart, meaning be careful what you're feeling and putting out there because it's going to come back to you because the law of attraction is real. Matthew 7, 2, and I'm going to get to the oil part. Matthew 7, 2 says, judge and you will be judged. Why? Because everything you think, like that guy, whatever, this guy, that girl, then someone's going to judge you just as quick. And I'll get, and it's so subtle, y'all. It's a very, very subtle thing. I will tell you that I had a young man who was talking negative about this person because they slept through their alarm clock and they were late for work. And they went into this whole thing and they were bad mouthing this guy because they had to do all these things and he's like I'm not gonna be his babysitter and blah blah, blah and all this stuff and it was, I was my daughter and I we were all just like you know like careful and that very night his phone didn't charge and his alarm clock didn't go off on his phone and he was late and did this exact, the exact same thing right and one time Brian and I forget where we were driving huh we go everywhere I mean not everywhere we go places where we're called. And we were in a city we hadn't been before and we were supposed to be there on time. And I like to be on time because I like to keep my chemistry in A and F. If my word says it, I, I choose to stay in my A and F instead of the cortisols and all the things that know you're lying. And we were not on time or we were had an almost bad situation where we could be late. And, um, and the GPS was taking us weird places and it was saying turn on this like sign or street or whatever and we were just like there was no signs anywhere in the city and I was just like <laughs> I was in the passenger seat and I don't remember if it was you or me but we were like you think they'd have signs around here I mean if they want you to get anywhere like my god like what kind of city is this I don't even have like signs you know and then I realized ooh, that was a judgment because basically what I was saying is if I were in charge, I would have done it differently. I would have done better. I'm better than these guys. And I don't know any of the circumstances going on, right? But, and that's a, that's a thing that happens quite often. Yeah. And it's very subtle. Yeah. And I had something that happened to me right after that where someone judged me that didn't know the whole scenario. I mean, within minutes. And I was just like, ooh, ouch, I recommit. You know, <laughs> I remember, I remind, you know. But... A lot of times people will pass off judgment because they don't want to be wrong. The right wrong piece is there. And for me, if I judged about these people who didn't do the signs, then I'd be off the hook for being late because then it's not my fault. It's the mayor of whatever city and all of his, you know, transportation department that it's God, those people, freaking people. You know, it's like instead of me just being responsible that, yeah, I'm going to a new city and sometimes GPSs do stuff, I probably should have left 30 minutes earlier to keep my cortisol levels down and to everyone get there on time and to keep my word so my chemistry is in the right place. See what I mean? But it's so mm -hmm. subtle and it comes back so fast. So be careful. You only get what you are. So if you're starting to see patterns in your life that are not your highest choice, Remember that it is actually your highest choice. So let's change the choice up. Um, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So again, who am I? Royal. All right, so on a math situation, 
Uh, for alignment, I am provision is a plus. I, am, I mean, yeah, I'm provision with your heart, mind, and talk. All of that equals three, which is really one to the third power. Does that make sense? Because God is not three, although he's three and one. He's really like super powerful <laughs> to the millionth degree of all the things that he is, right? He's number one. Yes. And, th and that could be money. So um, the mouth speaks what the mind thinks and the heart feels. It's this, it's this rotation. We, we a lot of times, or I thought that it started here first. Now we had to be aware of our thoughts. We do, but they've done studies now where they put people in a room and they had like a screen where they were gonna show like pictures or images of different things. And like it was positive things like babies and sweet love and things like that. And then the next thing would be like a snake about to bite you and stuff like that. And right before each bad slide, the heart, they were connected to all these things, the heart would actually pick up that something bad was about to happen and it would send a message to say fear or shock or freak out and it would show like a snake about to bite you in, on the screen. It wasn't the, the mind first, it was the heart first that sent the message to the brain to do it and it was before the image even showed up. We're very, very sensitive beings. He created us. This is your second brain right here. And so, um, again, they showed like sweet loving situations and little cute puppies and whatever, and that too was a positive. So when we do things like this, when we have negatives and some positive and negative, like I love, but I have fear and I have lack, you know, again, James 1, 6, 8 says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. The one who doubts is like a wave in the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded. It's split energy. And their loyalty is divided between God and the world. So we just stay where we are. You can do this all day long. Where it's like plus, 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 negative one, plus two, plus two, negative. I don't know if you can choose to see if you can see all this. This is called purgatory. This is called split energy, where you just stay, and you, like I said, or you can wake up and remember and change your whole script. Now, what's collective alignment? Again, now that we have Facebook, we have the news, we have all these vehicles that can get everyone into agreement really, really fast, one way or another. And they've done studies, not on frequency, but on magnitude, like when the O.J. Simpson trials happen, they have these stations all over the world that pick up the vibe of what's going on in the world. And it's not the vibe like frequency high or low, but it's the magnitude, the, the, the level of depth of frequency, the greater it is. And um, it was nine times higher when they did all that stuff with the O.J. Simpson stuff because it was the first time it was televised. You know, that really was a time where everyone was glued to the TV or the radio to find out the outcome. And when that happened, there was a huge shift in the, literally in the earth. Um, same with when Diana got married. Same when Diana had her funeral. Um, same with 9-11. There's some big shifts that literally shifted the earth by our hearts thinking in collective consciousness, in beliefs. Now, with social media, the average person has about 200 people as friends. And if you have, you know, one plus one plus one, which is that alignment of positivity, times 300 friends, and you post something positive, then you can get a positive response times all your people coming into agreement with your positive energy, creating a great positive thing. Um, and the news, same. So it's, it's good or bad, depending on what you post. So be careful what you're posting. Uh, what about what you're reading? What? And what you're reading. How, do you, how do you, I don't do Facebook, I'm sorry. I, I'm not, I'm still playing 45. So, <laughs> anyway, so when it comes to Facebook, so when it comes to Facebook, how do you eliminate it? Just, I mean, how do you, you just shift it. I watch the news and I cancel clear. And I create an, I, I say, I enjoy, yeah, and that's why I, I be careful what I put my eyes to, what I put my ears to. There's a lot of things I don't read. Um, 
15 minutes. So, yeah. Um, so, so I, I love that people put under the umbrella of prayer these statements that they put on Facebook. is like, uh, and I said these. I've, I've done this in the past. You know, pray for so-and-so. She was just diagnosed with cancer. Cancel. Well, now 300 people have all read that and put it into their energy and everyone's in agreement and sees and feels that this person has that energy and you've now you know like cancer awareness month are you freaking kidding me and then sending that all over Facebook autism awareness cancel cancel it's like we don't need awareness on those diseases we I choose awareness on balance and health and love and the positive so Again, instead, you could say, please vote permanent victory for my friend, Sally, for pure balance and love in her body and all her cells. And everyone sees that and they send light and vote victory for all of those things. But if you put the negative in there, then that's where it stays and it magnifies and it attracts. So you are decreeing. It says, decree a thing and it shall be. Decrees is you as a king or a queen making a law. De decrees only happen by kings and queens in the Bible. But you are the new kings and queens. We are sons and daughters. And what you decree, you decree a thing and it shall be. And so that's the same thing of writing it out on a post. So let's decree like positivity. Let's, yeah. The limbic system cannot tell the difference between what's really happening and what isn't. So if you are watching a movie and it's about horror and war, your body system will come into agreement that she's in war right now. We gotta juice out the, pump out the chemicals of that. And so same thing with imagination. If you can imagine and see like, who was it that said, I think it was Barbara who said, and he sees you whole. Jesus saw us whole. God sees you whole as you are. If you could see someone whole, there is a code to that and it goes into your field and the more people that can collectively agree with seeing someone whole and that remembrance that attracts a wholeness from the inside out and it comes to that person where it's like because again the limbic system can't tell the difference between fake and real if your imagination goes off in the positive it creates that anyway because it's like oh this must be real so let's make it happen mm -hmm. So Proverbs 11:25, a generous man prospers. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Galatians 6, 7, do not be deceived. God will not be mocked. You will reap what you sow. Do not be misled. You will harvest what you plant in thought and word and everything. Romans 12, 5, so in Christ, though we are many, we are one. We all belong to one. There's no separation, not between him and I, not between me and you. Like we're all just one. So, things to remember and remind. First of all, be, uh, you know, how do we remember and remind? Number one, discipline with this. The word disciple comes from discipline. Can you take a picture of that? <laughs> yeah. So, for this, we need to replace the script of whatever program's going on with something that would create a better harvest. So, um, the, the scripture 10 um, Corinthians 10 4 it says we demolish arguments and every pretension or every imagination that doesn't line up with truth you know and we we replace it with something positive um, another thing is anchors and oils like anchors to me are things that help me remember to be me um, I love Star Wars specifically Ray or Yoda because those people to me they represent creators who, who manifest positive things I have like her little Star Wars thing on me to, to remember that I have the same power. You know, Christ is in me. I get to do, I get to manifest everything. Whoever saw Star Wars Awaken, anybody? If you don't, go see it. But um, there's a part where he, she's like in bondage by the bad guys. And she's re remembering her Jedi skills, like God in me. And she's like, she says to the guy, you know, you're going to take me out of these handcuffs or whatever and you're gonna let me go and you're gonna give me your weapon and the guy was like like that the stormtrooper was like whatever dude and then she was like no you're going to release me from these fetters and you're going to let me go and then he was like 
I am going to release you from these shutters and let you go. <laughs> and she's like shocked because it happened, yeah. right? Like me, when I looked into the toilet bowl, right? She's like, oh my God, I just did that, right? So then he's walking away and she's like, and drop the weapon. And, and he's like, Psh, and he drops the weapon. And for me, I was like, I can do that. I got those skills in me. I remember that. I remind that. That's an anchor for me, Star Wars. You know, there, I have tattoos that are anchors for me. She has one that says, be authentic, to remember to be true. There's anchors that you can have. Maybe yours is this. I am diamond. Put things in your house. Do treasure maps. Do whatever it is to help you remember. See those things and go, I am. I am. I am. That's me. I am that I am is I am that. 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 So provision, beauty, power, all those things, greater things than these. Um, oils will help you a lot because this is a chart of all the different frequency amounts of water. The higher your frequency, the better you're going to manifest. And so if, you, if you're choosing to change your mind, it's a, this is a little funny thing. It says, think like a proton, proton always positive. Right? I love that. What are some oils, real quick, that can change your mind and your heart? Um, why I love oils is because they don't just go into the cells, but they actually go into your electric field, and they stay. It's been tested. People can see colors. People can see code. There's a lot of people with their visual eyes, and now they have cameras and technology that can see this biofield. It's a true thing. Plants have it, too. So uh, if you want to write some stuff down that will change your biofield, magnify your purpose, abundance, fitness, because it's being fit, joy, peace and calming, fun, transformation, valor. They use that on the Roman soldiers when they had to go to war because it was like, I, I remember that I am might. I am valor. I am, I'm going to kick some booty today. You know, I got God in me. Uh, Clarity, good one. I am clear. If you ever run into where someone like completely misunderstands you over and over and over again, I am clear and so is my world. I am clear and so is my world. I am clear and so is my world. Change the script, they come back to you. Oh yeah, I get it now. Like it took me a minute. So um, this one says, into the future. Believe is my absolute favorite. Uh, and it reminds me a lot of Superman. You know, Superman, Real quick, Superman, um, who is a parabolic symbol of Christ, by the way. Is any, uh, there's tons of books out there. But um, I went to Cent um, Smallville, and I went to, what's the other place? Um, geez, I remember. It's out of Kentucky, but there's a whole Superman city. And it's, they don't even, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but the county is called Massac County. Massac is to smother with oils. And there's like a 30-foot... A Superman statue in front of their municipal court and like you walk into I mean right where the decrees and laws are made like it's just like there's Superman right there you know it's just like they got a whole Superman museum and everything so yeah um, okay uh, dream catcher grow common sense somebody uh, field it has to do with money you can actually change your ideas about kingdom finances there's a great CD right here about that if we remember that we are provision and that God in us is wealthy then you will attract it it, it takes effort on as far as you got to do some stuff you can't just sit on your couch and go oh and then knocks on your door but a lot of times it does so um, motivation faith finance highest potential Awaken and Envision is out my absolute favorite. It's only like 16 bucks, five minutes. So what you do is you put these on. All of them? Yeah, any one of them you choose. Oh. Or all of them. <laughs> Make a blend. <laughs> Roll a bottle every morning on your back. Yeah. And then you cover it with grounding oils. Grounding oils are what holds it. So I am permanent light. I am permanent love. You know, the scripture, Peter was talking with Jesus. You know, Jesus asked him, who do they say I am? And Peter's like, uh, you're the Messiah. And he's like, good job, dude. Because, like, you could have only known that by true Holy Spirit inspiration. Like, only God would know that in you. 
And then like two sentences later, he's telling the Satan Peter, like, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Which the actual translation they wrote, get behind me, Satan, the real words are stop thinking in that thought form. There's, it's not a personified devil. It's He's saying, stop thinking that way. So, but grounding, you know, to stay, like, because we can go in and out all day long, like we talked about, and we could generate nothing by fear, love, fear, love, fear, love. You know, you're the Messiah, you're not. <laughs> you know, but... Stop thinking in that, what did you say? Stop it's thinking in that thought form. Thought form. Yes. So grounding, myrtle, cedar wood, grounding. There is an oil called grounding. Cypress, patchouli, my babe, love it. <laughs> Idaho blue spruce, Idaho balsam fir, northern lights. These are all great ones to layer on top of this. I'm almost done, I promise. And then for your biofuel, just because, you know, if you want to keep it neutral and like not take on anything, um, sage and white angelica, Mark's, Mark had his in his pocket. You know, it's a good one to carry all the time. So, um, does this help you guys oh, yeah. a little bit? Not really. Um, I can get that to Terry. Is there like an email list you guys have or something? I can maybe yeah. screenshot it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I'll send it to him and he can send it to you or whatever so I would say I would email you but I don't email that's just one of my rules all right I love you guys remember you remind you be you be your best authentic self be true every day and I want to hear your miracles report your miracles to me please I'm gonna get a lot of them so yeah thank you thank you